everybody, and welcome to the Saints Podcast here on the campus of Seward County Community College. Thanks for joining us this beautiful afternoon. Uh, of course, yet another special edition because they're all special, right? It's the Saints Podcast, and I have Crusaders in the studio today. Awesome. Uh, so if you guys would uh, just kind of introduce yourselves, let us know who you are and, and what you do here at the, co- at the college. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Miles Roethlisberger. I am the uh, media advisor for Crusader News. I'm also the mass communications instructor advisor for the department what have you and i'm kind of just there to help guide and steer along the crusader news but it's all student run so a lot of what they do is really their work so cool and you um hello i'm brianna rich and i am the photo editor for crusader and i am currently living in liberal in my own apartment Cool. And um, I am studying journalism, but mainly for the photography part, because later on I want to be in a photography business. There you go. Be the next Annie Leibovitz, huh? Yeah. You know who that is, right? No. No? It's, I make these references, and I guess they're too old. So uh, she's the one that uh, usually photographs, like, the babies in flower pots and babies wearing hats and sunflowers okay. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. And, Brianna, you are originally from Elkhart, yeah? Yeah. yeah I just moved into my own apartment um, last year after school had ended. Very since cool. we were going to basically stay here anyway. Mm-hmm. And you are a presidential scholar as well? Yes. Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Brianna is not necessarily one of mine in the office, but, you know, I, I keep tabs on all the presidentials anyway. So thank you for guys for joining us in the studio uh, today. So if you could tell us just a little bit about, uh, you know, w- what the Crusader is. Uh, it's always, yeah, it's been here since I've been here, but people watching the video, they may not know. So if you guys could just kind of fill us in a little bit. Okay. Uh, so the Crusader was the uh, Seward County Community College campus newspaper But what we do is Crusader News, which is the uh, Seward County student media for the campus. Mm -hmm. So for the most part, you know, website, but otherwise same kind of material. So we have anything from, you know, college news stories, articles, things like that, to campus life, feature stories. And we have some other things in between because, you know, (laughs) the world is digital now. So you you have, you know, you have multimedia projects, uh, saints on the street. So actually Bree over here mm-hmm. uh, with another student went around interviewing some students on a particular question, things like that, and recorded their responses. So we have a lot of different material, but yep, we're student-run media. So yeah, a lot yeah. of variety. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of variety, and uh, it really has evolved because back in my day, way back in my day, it's, it's been a long time, but uh, it was still, it was a print. I mean, it was printed on an actual newspaper, and that, uh, yeah, just the times change, man. So we, we have the website, and I will uh, definitely put a link to the website in this video description. So if anybody wants to go straight to Crusader News and check it out, they'll be able to hit the link down there. That's awesome. Okay. All right. So, uh, Bree, you are, you said, that, like, the photo editor and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, what are some of the things that you've seen just over the last year that just really kind of uh, struck out to you being on the, on the Crusader team? So basically um, I did most of the photography last year, and it kind of helped me in a way to get better at my photography and like if some of the others would take pictures i would edit the pictures and make it the right format for the website and i would basically make sure that all the cut lines were good all the photos were good and just set up yeah so you're a master cropper then i would take it yeah Mm, somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> so uh, that's, a, that's a lot that you guys have going on. And it, it's really cool to see uh, the the students going around and doing this stuff, this multimedia stuff. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, whether you're looking at something like here in the studio doing a podcast or uh, you're putting up just you know, like a news website, you know, that's that's really the way of the future, the way it's going. So what, do you, what more um, do you guys see going on with the Crusader website? I mean, how are, do you guys have any plans to enhance it, kind of change it this year? Um, well, Sue and, you know, the students from last year did have a great foundation so far. Mm-hmm. While we're always looking to improve, things like that, we will also try and bolster what we've maybe worked on so far and right. what's worked, things like that. Uh, in terms of future projects at the moment, and I mean, we always have kind of a pitch meeting Tuesdays right now, mm-hmm. and we're always, you know, fishing for ideas, for stories, things like that. But at the moment, 
you know, we were maybe thinking about doing some things with uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Yeah. Maybe looking into that, seeing if there's events going on with those. Uh, but otherwise, let's see, maybe a big group project with tat- those with tattoos, something like that. Otherwise, in terms of, say, like, you know, working with the digital, uh, funny enough, we're thinking about maybe doing a little bit more podcasting. Yeah. Though we'll have to see where that goes, but hopefully we'll bust out some microphones or, you know, <laughs> Maybe maybe even ask to borrow the studio at one point and of course of course you know, see see what we can do with that <laughs> yeah yeah so um, yeah, that's great to hear that you guys uh, have some of that stuff coming up and, and and you're right I mean we 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 already do have a great website we we have a great base and uh, it's definitely something to grow from so uh, Brianna you've been here for for a year this is your second year you're a sophomore yes. uh, what uh, what were some of your favorite stories from last year some of the favorite projects that you worked on from last year. Mm. So I have to go with my top one, and okay, it's probably biased because he is my boyfriend, (laughs) but um, so I did an up close, which everybody loves up closes anyway, and I got to take pictures of him welding, and those were like (laughs) best pictures I've ever taken, Um, and I ended up getting first place for that picture at um, whenever we went to Wichita yeah. last year. Yeah. And so, like, again, has to be my favorite since I got first place, you know. Yeah. We're winning here. Um, another favorite. Oh, yes. The one where whenever I was in my first seminar class, and we're trying to do it again this year, but we had to talk to instructors. Um, in our first seminar class um sue taught that class so of course probably why we got to do the story but anyway um so we got to do where people put in on a piece of paper weird food combos and then after we got all of those responses we chose some of the few of the weird food combos and we made them and Megan Berg was on this story as well. I was the video portion part. Yeah. And she made the food and she brought it to class the next day. Something like that. And um, we got to have other people, like if it wasn't their idea, try the food. And it was, it was funny to watch all the reactions and see if they liked it or not. So what were some of the weird combinations? So, like, I put mine that was picked. It was tortilla with peanut butter and jelly okay, in yeah. it. Okay. And they liked it. Um, another food combo that was really weird was spaghetti, like just the noodles, uh-huh. like no sauce, and syrup. And, like, like maple syrup. Yeah. Dude, you're grossing me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. So uh, a couple of things, uh, uh, just real quick. So you mentioned up close, and, and yeah, you're right. We do we do love those on, on campus. But mm-hmm. for those who aren't familiar with those, just kind of explain a little bit more about that. So an up close is basically an interview between another student. So we would go out, Um, ask a student if they would like to do it and it's just basic questions about them it's basically getting to know the new students or if you haven't seen this student you're getting to know them in a way because we ask basically um, questions about like their favorite color or if they could be a color what would it be (laughs) like it's just random questions that you get asked it's like 10 of them yeah and everybody loves having a profile done on them yeah, so and those are really cool. You can check those out on, on Crusader News as well. Uh, so you also mentioned that last year, this is one thing that we're always super proud of uh, for our Crusader team, is we're national award winners mm-hmm. uh, here on campus. So can you, can you tell us a little about, about some of the, the awards that you guys won and, and some of the things that maybe you're, the awards you're looking at winning this year? Mm-hmm. So we won over like 70-something it was awards. A lot. It was a lot. And we also, I think it was our, what, fourth year, right? Winning all Kansas? I, that sounds about right, but I'll admit, I'm also new to the party, so, <laughs> you know, I'm this is my first sure. year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the fourth year that we got to win all Kansas. And a little 
backstory on that. We were so excited. We were all hoping we'd get it because Sue, she said that if we won all Kansas, then we could do a profile story on her. Yeah. And, of course, like, if they're, like, Miles, for example, he's our sponsor, so we can't write about him. But because Sue had left, loophole. So uh, we were able to uh, write about her. And for the longest time, she'd be like, no, you can't. No, you can't. And so then she finally made a deal. And then once we won that award, we had to send a picture to her and tell her, all right, when's the first interview? Because <laughs> we got it. That's very cool. Very cool. Yeah, so just uh, winning awards and doing all kinds of great stuff over in the Crusader office. So if a student is wanting to join the Crusader Club, uh, wanting to do, you know, multimedia and, and, you know, a website and all that kind of stuff, how do they go about that? Well, what's their first steps? So there are a lot of different steps that a student could take to do that, and they have to be a student first off. Yeah. This is all student-run. Again, just a reminder for that. But uh, a lot of different ways. I mean, an easy way is just come to the office, come to the Crusader Lab to just – ask, hey, could I you know, work part-time? Uh, at this stage of the year, they probably wouldn't be able to enroll in the class. Mm-hmm. That just might be too tricky. But we're always taking part-timers or people who can offer, yeah, a photography help or writing help. I mean, we have plenty of ideas for stories and only so many students who are you know, full-time through the class for credit, the media practicum class. So they can just walk through the Crusader Lab at AA 131 over in the Hobble building. Yeah. So come on in meet the crew, meet myself, ask if, you know, you can write a story and more than likely (laughs) you'll probably be on board. But otherwise you can contact, you know, say myself, since I am the advisor through my email, uh, you know, miles.rothlisberger at, you know, sccc.edu. Otherwise you can talk to our staff members. Again, Bree is our uh, photo editor. Mm -hmm. We do have some other staff members, many of them returning. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, great support system. They will welcome you with open arms and help people get up to speed with that so yeah Uh, yeah and uh, one of the other things too i I think to mention is that um, the crusader also counts as a club so Mm -hmm. a lot of our scholarships here on campus require uh, participation in a club or organization so Mm -hmm. crusader absolutely fills that and and for me, well, you know the kind of guy I am anyway, but it seems like more, one of the more fun clubs on campus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, is there anything that you guys have coming up soon? Any, any kind of news stories that we can look forward to here in the next uh, a few weeks, couple of months, or, or anything? So not a story, but in October, um, everybody can go to Washington, D.C., and they're going to be able to go to like all the conventions and like explore Washington DC and get to see everything there. Um, that's like October, what, 27th? Yes. Through yep. the 30th? Yep. Yeah. That, should, that sounds about right. So cool. if you want to join or do something like that or like part time, like Miles said, if you get six stories in by that time, you can go on the Washington trip. Um, I'm sure it'll be pretty fun. Uh, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. And we're pretty low staffed right now, so if anybody would join, that would that would help. It'd yeah. be great. Um, and if you're unsure, just come sit in a class. See if you would be interested. Yeah, very nice. So you guys are doing that in October. Does that mean you're missing spooky season? Are you guys missing spooky season on me this year? No. Little bit, but just a little bit. Again, um, we'll probably be back by the time it, you know, the very day of October thirty first. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, because uh, you know, yeah, I love my horror podcasts. Love my love my horror stories. That was always one of my favorite things the last few years. Is Crusader we'll, we'll do horror <laughs> stories. So all right. But I'm sure some of the stuff will be staying. Like I, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stay behind mm. because of a wedding. So yeah. I'll be here. <laughs> cool. So make sure she's on the podcast right and, and of course you know you guys are, are welcome to use the studio you know I, but that's one of the reasons i you know want you guys over here to kind of utilize this space you know so let's let's keep it busy keep it occupied keep cranking out content for you know for the college and for crusader so very cool is there anything that uh, you guys want to kind of touch on before we get ready to wrap it up here i guess again just kind of to recruit potential writers potential photographers potential just creators in general crusader is an awesome opportunity to really 
just take a crack at it and practice. I mean, mm -hmm. you're going out there interviewing people, you're getting information, you're telling stories, very interesting stories, lots of different stories. And it's just a wonderful opportunity to get that experience and, well, you know, build that resume if you really need to. So, yeah. And that's always important. Yep. It, <laughs> it, it always looks good to be part of a nationally award winning uh, mm -hmm. oh, that doesn't media, hurt. media team. Oh, it's that always, does not hurt. <laughs> always a good look. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Miles and Brandon, thank you guys so much for coming in the studio today. I really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to working with you guys. Uh, a whole lot more coming up this year. Um, uh, other than that, is, is there anything else? Do we got? No? Just remember, you get to pick your own stories, so you never have to just get thrown a story and do it like a normal home homework assignment like <laughs> oh i have to do this you get to decide so it's even more fun and you get to meet more people plus meaning you get more friends so then you're not lonely here on campus there we go awesome all right, Miles Brandon, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you would like for more information on uh, how to join the Crusader Podcast or, you know, of course, you know, getting into Seward County Community College, we'd absolutely love to have you. Admissions contact info will be up on the screen here in just a moment. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.